Right everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is another pest control video, so uh, if you don't like this sort of stuff, then uh, don't watch. <coughs> uh, just back on the permission, that's uh, pretty close to where I live. Uh, like I say, it's uh, hit and miss out here, like I've said in other videos, sometimes it produces, sometimes it doesn't. But um, I have been coming here pretty late on the night, well after work, and it uh, hasn't really produced very much, so I thought I'll change it round and get here early on the morning, uh, just when stuff's starting to wake up and stuff, and um, I see if we can get anything uh, more productive on the morning. Uh, hopefully pigeons and crows will be on the menu, hopefully, and um, I'm hoping to get the odd pheasant or two, because uh, they're start waking up and things, so yeah, so uh, I will give it an early morning crown. Like I said, just having a quick walk around today, because uh, I need to be somewhere later on, so I can't stay that long, so uh, just a couple of hours walking around, see what happens, and uh, hi, so I'll bring you along with me and see if uh, we can get out. So, uh, hi, let's uh, get all set up and get ready. Hey everyone, there's a few pigeons flying over now, look, we're, uh, we're a bit close to the houses yet to take shots. Uh, I hope everyone's having a nice day. Um, been a couple of clothes flying about as well, so uh, just walking down here. Uh, I'll have a walk through there later on, it's just a bit early to go through there yet. And uh, see if we can flush anything out of there. Well, actually, I'll cut over the fence down here and we'll have a quick walk through. Because uh, sometimes get pheasants in here. But, uh, there's a stream down there, so I don't know if it's going to be saturated or not. But, uh, I'll just have a quick walk about, see what goes on. Uh, I'm going to go right down to the other corner, stand down there for a bit. Uh, might have a chance of a uh, flight line of geese. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a try early on the morning today, see if uh, how it goes on. Because when we come later on the, on the night time, it's uh, not producing very much. So uh, I thought I'd have a look. Yeah, I'll have a walk around to that and then when it gets a bit lighter we'll come back down to this and have a walk through. There's a few pigeons flying over, a uh, bit high like. Uh, I think it's starting to move now, here's one coming over, see if it comes close enough. Nah, uh, if we move a bit further around here. I just stand here for a couple of seconds, see if it comes over. I just buggy yourself down here like. So, uh, can't see there be many pheasants about. Just stand here for a bit, see if it comes over the edge. There's one coming over, high one, well, a couple of high ones. Seagulls up there. I'd love to walk forever up. I think you should have um, put me there. Uh, what proof bottoms on today? Like it's going to be a wet one. Mr. Crow. Yeah, it'd be good to try and walk through them, try and flush stuff out, but uh, I pigeon over there, look, but it's over the solar panel, so pointless even trying to shoot out that one. So I keep on walking. Yeah, it'd be nice to go through there, but it's that dense. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to get the gun up on anything, because uh, the trees are really close together. But, uh, I, yeah, I'll keep on walking on the outside, see what happens. I think the corner where we normally stand in as well, I think that's going to be flooded. 
because there's a stream that runs through there and the amount of rain we've had uh, it normally does flood down there but we'll give it a go right uh, buggy as hell that bit there where I've just walked uh, glad I've got my wellies on not my boots yeah, I'll walk through this fixed stuff seems out but uh, yeah the ground's really buggy so whether it's going to be out here or not I was talking to the bloke who lives in one of them houses as well this morning and he said he has seen a couple of pheasants on here lately so uh, uh, it might be a bit early at the minute but we'll see, see if we can flush out all this long stuff Now you see all the water down here look, it's absolutely boggy because there's a stream down there so uh, there's all the water there look so I think the corner we stand in is going to be absolutely underwater but, uh, we'll have a look when we get there I normally stand a bit further up there first but uh, we've been too early on the morning I don't really want to disturb the houses if they're still in bed. He's a crow flying over but it's a bit too fast, see if it turns. Might turn and come over as hopefully. We'll have a look. There's <coughs> a him over. Still flying that direction. Right, so we'll have a walk about in a minute probably. Uh, as you can see down here it's made its own little river where it's all streaming off. Normally that's not there. And uh, the main stream's down over there in the ditch. I'm not going to walk over in case I slip, especially with a gun in my hand. But that's the main stream down there that's running pretty fast. And then obviously it's made another stream here. So uh, I will stand here for a couple of minutes to see what happens. And like I say, we'll have a walk around. And uh, wait till it gets a bit, uh, a bit later in the day, we'll try and flush that field out. I couldn't just flew over but uh, wasn't on the ball quick enough. Pigeons just landed in that tree in front of me, but it's over the side of the river, so uh, point the shooting at that because I won't be able to retrieve it. Yeah, it's just over the side of that branch. I might move out and see if I can uh, flush it towards me, but it'll probably fly the opposite way. But, uh, we'll just leave that one sat there, it might attract some more. See which way it goes. Well, it's just up there. Like I said, it's pointing shut because I uh, can't retrieve it. <coughs> Another crow just coming over, see if it comes close enough. Uh, I've tried to smoke a pigeon out but it's not even budging. But uh, I'll accept it's point to shoot the waiters because I won't be able to retrieve it. Uh, there's uh, not much happening down here like Nobby, so uh, we'll go for another walk and uh, see what happens. Right. 
And I think the feeding on the half horns of Bristol. Um, here's a couple of partridges in that field. But it's uh, not all permission, so we can't shoot. No, we're just down here somewhere. A couple of partridges there. Not already over there. Yeah, like I said, we can't, uh, can't shoot them. It's not part of all permission. So uh, we'll have to leave them alone. So let's walk up here, see if we can flush out. We'll have to walk up towards the sheep fields. Maybe a couple of crows and that flying about. It's a very uh, productive place, this, this place lately, like. You see, we get some when we get up close at the top. And a few crows at the end here where sheep are. Just take it off. But I think it's going to be another blank today. But I'll bring his log anyway, just in case. There's a pigeon flying over, look, but point to see if we're trying to shoot that over the solar panels. Yeah, we'll get the end of it, see what happens. Sometimes you get a few partridges in the corner of this bit up here in pheasants, but uh, obviously today I don't think there'll be anything here. But we'll give it a try. There's a pigeon. There's little birds there flying about. Something dead down there, look what's that. Something's been ripped apart down there, looks like a, looks like a sheep skull. <laughs> There's a lot of crows over there, but uh, obviously nowhere near where we need to be. Hey, right, um, no, we're about at a minute. So, uh, oh yeah, I like uh, there's stuff flying about, but it's uh, nowhere, it went nowhere near within range where I can get a shot at it. So, uh, there's no sheep in this field here. So, I'm uh, going to climb over and walk around the edges of this field, see if we can flush out of the bushes. But, uh, oh yeah, and then we'll walk back down to where we started, and uh, we'll stand out there for a little bit, see what happens. So, uh, hopefully, we uh, make it a pheasant. Like, so, we'll just walk around the edge line, see if we can flush out, out and uh, see what happens. Let's have a quick walk up these edges. I've uh, just had a shot at two crows there, but I uh, missed. So, yeah, we'll have a walk up these things out. Uh, that field's open as well, there's nothing there, so we'll have a little walk on that field as well. But, uh, the road's just over there, so I'm not going to go too close to the road. <coughs> we'll walk so far down, they just cut across. So, yeah, there's all the sheep in there, look, so don't need to want to sheep in the, uh, shoot in there. Yeah, like I said, this uh, property I shoot on. Like I said in one of your videos, it's a uh, hit and miss. Sometimes you get a few good shots, and uh, sometimes you just blank. So I suppose it's like that everywhere you go. So like I said, it used to be uh, really good on here, especially for pheasants. Used to be loads of food on here that I'd keep for me, but because uh, it's not here anymore, they don't stay. Just find other places to go and feed. Yeah, this field here, when used to put crops in here, used to be able to build a hide just down here in the, in the ditch. And it was uh, 
pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't bad shooting when uh, that was on. So uh, just have a little walk over here, like I said, I'm not going to go too close over there because that's a main, that's a road, so uh, I'm not going to go too close that way. But that down there, that's what we did. So we're going to see what it is. Looks like a pheasant. <coughs> There's a leg up so big now. Oh, no, it's sheep. Dead sheep there, look. All the bones and stuff. So, oh uh, yeah. Lovely. So yeah, we'll have a walk around this bit and see what happens. Hi. Yeah, hey, everyone. Um, I just had a walk around all the edges and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I had a few shots, had a couple of crows, uh, pigeons, but they were well out of range. So, uh, it just looks like uh, another blank there. Um, gun I'm using again is side by side. Like I said, it's a uh, nice little gun that's uh, pretty quick to get on stuff. But, um, yeah, I like I said, just another blank down here. Uh, yeah, I know I said in one of my own videos, I'm thinking about giving this permission up. Uh, just because, like I said, you get it, you just, uh, there's no here anymore. It's absolutely pants like I say, the only field now is this field when they put crops in. And at the time the crops are here for some reason fell, they don't uh, come up. So uh, it's just grass in there at the minute. So yeah, like I say, um, yeah, like I say, seriously thinking about uh be shooting days on here. Uh, I might go elsewhere and have a look, see if there's out else about. There's a farm next door I might nip on there when we finish here. Uh, I did go there the other day but there was no one in, so I might nip on there and see if they need any shooting on there. Uh but yeah, I will have a look. Uh, yeah, like I say, the other permission that I go on, that's a pretty good one, that's uh, obviously something great and I've got. But uh, yeah, on this one, since he's put the solar panels in here, like I've said in other videos, it's absolutely killed it. Uh, there's quite a few dead sheep about as well, though, and I was walking through the other fields. Um, obviously, probably natural causes and stuff, but yeah, but, um, I am going to walk through this bit here. Uh, see if we can flush a pheasant out, because there might be one or two in here. Uh, I'm going to walk back up to the houses, though, and then walk back down this way, because obviously, if I go that way, I'm going to be shooting towards the houses and I don't want to be doing that, so uh, I'll go to the other end of the field, walk back down this way and see if I can flush them down this way or over into the field that way. So, aye, so uh, yeah, I'll be going to have a walk down there now. And then, uh, like I said, we'll see if we can get out. out. Uh, then after that we'll have to go because uh, I need to be somewhere half ten. Uh, got me car in for an MOT. So, I'll just have a quick walk through it, through it and see if we get out. And uh, I'll bring you back when I've had a walk through, see what happens. I'll have a quick uh, walk through here. Like I said, it seems out the cards, it makes it a bit foggy, so uh, I'd be very surprised if it's out in here. There's a stream there, as you can see. So all that's flushed over to here. But, uh, now, as far as I know, pheasants don't like to be on a uh, boggy ground. But, uh, we'll have a look, you never know. Hey, right, it's all boggy there, look. Looks like we'll have to stay up the top end. I will stop this end, I don't think it's going to be enough down next, it's uh, really boggy down there. Right, I should put my waterproof uh, trousers on, like so I'm getting absolutely soaking, but no man. Been a nice walk out this morning. Even though we haven't got no part, looks at Yeah, look, Dick City on the water, that looks going to be way too buggy down there, so I don't think this is going to hold anything today. I'd look, lives in the corner now, said sometimes you get pheasants in this bit. But uh, with it being buggy like that, I don't think it's going to be that way here. So, on man. Right, looks like that's it. Looks like we just stood in the corner there, so uh Hi. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi, right everyone, uh welcome back. Yeah, we just had a walk through that little field there, but it's absolutely buggy as well, so um I don't think that's gonna hold anything in there. So uh, I had a walk through just in case, but uh, yeah, like it was really buggy inside there. So uh, I don't think that was gonna hold anything. But uh yeah, like I say, like I say in doing videos used to be absolutely brilliant on here. But uh, trophy, I think I'm the only person now who comes on here shooting. I've never ever seen anyone shooting on here for ages like you used to before when the solar pal panels went in. I uh, had a few shooters on here, but um, yeah, I think uh, the other shooters now have just uh, give up and ended up going somewhere else. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try the farm next door, uh, see if I can get permission on there. 
Uh, I don't know if they already have shooters on there. Um, and there uh, we give a go. Yeah, people looking for p p uh, permission. But next time, well, that's only like Peppa p p Penguin there. But, uh, yeah, anyone looking for uh, permission? Yeah, I did have a comment saying how you go about looking for it. Uh, personally, I just normally just drive around the farms. Obviously, don't take your shooting gear and be dressed in camo and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm going to go to that farm now and I've got camo on, obviously, because I've been shooting. But, uh, yeah, when you're going around farms and stuff trying to find your permission, just dress casual. Uh, not in all your shooting gear and don't take no shooting gear with you and that. And uh, just basically knock on doors and um, ask for permission and stuff. Or say, if you, if you notice birds feeding on the land and stuff like that, just say, I've noticed you've got a load of pigeons or I've seen a load of rabbits. Would you like me to do some pest control and stuff like that? Uh, even some arms off of the farmer's help as well around the farm. Uh, that'll get, get you a few permission. Uh, yeah, if you offer to help them around the farm if they get stuck and stuff like that, um, that will help them. And then uh, obviously at Christmases and stuff like that as well, I normally buy the farmers where I've got permission, uh, like a bottle of booze or a bottle of wine. To put, like uh, the bloke who owns this, it's just a bloke, I think. So I'll probably get him a bottle of whiskey. And then the other permission I've got, because there's a uh, man and wife on there, I'll get the bloke probably a bottle of whiskey and the uh, lady maybe a bottle of wine. Just to say thank you for uh, letting you shoot on their land, because obviously uh, it is hard to come by lately shooting on land, because obviously the farmer doesn't know who you are. You could be trying to suss the place out to rob it or anything like that. Um, and if you do get permission, just shoot the species that they want you to shoot, like uh, the other farmer shoot that I've said in other videos. I'm not allowed to shoot pheasants on there. Uh, I've been within 10, 15 foot of a pheasant with the gun and obviously I won't shoot them. Fair enough, you might think, oh, well, I can shoot one because I'm in a different part of the farm, I'm not going to get caught. But uh, you get caught shooting them, or the farmer just turns up and says, oh, what, you've been shooting, let's have a look in your bag. And you've got a pheasant in there or something you're not supposed to shoot. And then, uh, one, you can lose your permission, and two, it'll be classed as poaching. So uh, if they really wanted to, they could probably prosecute you for that. So yeah, just shoot the species that they really want you to shoot. Uh, look after the land, obviously leave no trace. Take all your cartridges home. Uh, I've shot in places like this place used to where I normally go down in the corner that used to be absolutely littered with cartridges because like I say you used to have quite a few shooters on here before they put the panels in yeah it used to be absolutely littered with cartridges uh, yeah just take your empty cartridges home obviously they're heavier to carry in than they are to carry out because that, that well in my case they're still low, full when I carry them out but uh, yeah most of the time they're empty so they're a hell, hell of a lot lighter to carry out but yeah just like I say just leave no trace and uh, look after the land and stuff like that uh, don't be damaging fences or if you are cutting branches off edges to make a hide or something, uh, get the farmer's permission because sometimes I do want hedges trimming back. So uh, yeah, you could just do that. But yeah, like I say, just um, if you're writing letters and stuff like that, uh, personally I think that might work, but uh, I'd rather go face to face with a farmer because at least he can look at you. And Because uh, sometimes you look at people and you can judge their and them whether you like them or not. Um, but yeah, you just send them a letter or an email, they don't know who you are or what you look like or anything, you could be anyone, so... Yeah, just go round knocking on doors and um, stuff like that. But yeah, like I say, just go in your casual clothes. Don't take your hunting gear with you or anything like that. And uh, just explain to the farmer what you can do for them and stuff and uh, offer to help him. And uh, like I say, it uh, does get you permission. Like I say, I've only got two permissions at the minute, but truthfully, I, because of the p p permission I shoot, can't say that word for some reason, but uh, the permission I shoot on the other land, um, uh, they were all right on there. So because I've got that one and this one, I've never really looked anywhere else for permission. So uh but yeah, like I say, I'm going to try that farm next door now because this farm is uh, absolutely diabolical lately. There's no happening on here at all. And uh, last time I drove on the other farm, there was quite a few pigeons on the field and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so um, uh, we'll get the other one. Um, I won't end the video here actually. I'll go to the farm and knock on the door, see if we get any joy, and I'll let you know what happens when we get there. So, uh, all right, so we'll drive to the next one. Like I say, we'll have to be quick because I need to get back home and get this car for MOT. So uh, yeah, we'll drive to the next farm and then I'll bring you back after I've been there and see what happens. Yeah, right, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, um, I went to that farmhouse near the farm where I've just been on and uh, knocked on his door, he was in, but he said he doesn't own the land. So he told me which farmhouse owned all, all, all the land. So I'm here now, I don't know if you can see in the background over there, but uh, yeah, that farmhouse there, uh, he's the one who owns the land where I've just been to try and get permission. Anyway, I knocked on the door and he said um, he's already got quite a few shooters on here already, so uh, he uh, doesn't need any more shooters. But like I say, he was pretty polite about it and stuff like that, so I uh, uh, like I say, so yeah, it's just worth a try. Like I say, just go around them. Um, Knocking on the farm doors, uh, asking for permission. But like I said, I'm probably dressed in the wrong gear, truthfully, to go and ask. But uh, yeah, I should have came, well, said that. He's got shooters on here anyway. So um, yeah, just go in your normal gear. Don't take your shooting gear with you. Uh, yeah, and just offer them, uh, like I say, help. Like I offer the farmers help where I shoot. But uh, I've never once asked to be to help. But if they did, like I said, they were struggling with something and uh, said, oh, do you mind give us a hand doing this if I was on the farm? Or even if they phoned me to come out, I'd, I, I wouldn't mind because obviously. At the end of the day, they're trusting you to give you the permission to shoot on their land. So, um, yeah, like I say, yeah, just don't leave no litter about. 
Um, yeah, I know some people do send emails and uh, text us and that to the farmers when they can get them. But uh, yeah, I'd rather see the farmer face to face because at least he knows what you look like and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, get some insurance as well. Uh, I'm with a cheap insurance at the minute. Um, one that you get out the shooting magazines. Yeah, gun magazines. I can't remember what it's called now. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, when that one runs out, changing to Basque. Uh, it's a bit more expensive, but I think Basque insurance does cover you for uh, quite a lot. So um, yeah, I'll probably be changing that one. So yeah, another recommendation as well is get some uh, sort of liability insurance on uh, shooting. But uh, yeah, but yeah, like I say, just uh, go face to face. You will get a uh, lot, lot of knockbacks. Like when I first started uh, shooting, I got absolutely tons of knockbacks before I got a permission. But uh, yeah, just keep on uh, knocking on the doors and stuff like that. And then... Um, even even the same farms every now and again, like obviously don't keep going knocking on the door and pestering them because uh, they'll get sick. But like leave it a few months and then maybe he's go back and just say, oh, I was just wondering if anything's changed. If you need any pest control doing, they might say, oh yeah, now we do because someone might have give up shooting on there or whatever or um, anything can happen like that. So, but don't keep on going like every week knocking saying, oh, do you need me? Do you need me? And stuff like that because uh, it won't work. But uh, yeah, anyway, well, uh, the video's out. Like, like I said, I just had a comment to me uh, on one of my videos asking how I go about getting permission and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just mention it in this video. But uh, I'm sorry we didn't shoot that today. Like I say, um, that land is a bit of a no shoot on there at the minute. Obviously, it's a nice little walk around and that gets you out for the morning. But um, yeah, like I say, it used to be absolutely brilliant. There used to be loads of shooters on there. But now I think there's only me shoots on there, to tell you the truth. Uh, and you can see why no one bothers going on there anymore because there's not really there to shoot. But like I say, it still is a nice walk and it is close to the house. So sometimes you might get lucky and walk around there and bag a pheasant or... Maybe it's a goose or a couple of pigeons, but uh, nine times out of ten you don't. So, well, like I said, I'll probably still walk around there every now and again and see what happens. But yeah, so um, hi, thanks for joining me in this video anyway. Like I said, sorry I didn't shout out, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you come out have a good day, sometimes you come out have a bad day, but um, yeah, that's just shooting for you. Same as fishing, I suppose. Some days you go fishing, you don't catch it out, and some days you can go and catch loads. So, hi, so I'll see you. Uh, oh yeah, tomorrow hopefully I might be going clear pigeon shooting as well, so um. Depending on the website, so if I do, I'll uh, bring you along on the clay pigeon shoot and try and get some footage on there. Uh, I'll be going with one of my mates tomorrow if we go. So uh, I'll bring you back tomorrow if we go shooting. So um, catch us in a bit. Bye.